Hey everybody, this is Kwaku from Next Gen Windows bringing you another Windows 8 app review. Today's app review is going to be Decision Making Wheel, made by the developer Max Tor Apps. You can check it out on the Windows Store right now, it's free. Uh, but what Decision Making Wheel is, is exactly what the title says. It, it, it You can build wheels and it'll help you make a decision. So, for instance, we can click on this one right here. You can see one of my recent things, my answers that are recent here. Let's say if we click on one of these uh, wheels here that were pre-made when I downloaded it. We click pick for one, two, five, and you have the uh, title here. You have all of the uh, choices that you'll take that you can choose from, and then you have all the options that the wheels arrow can land on. Sorry, and then you can add an option which I won't do because that ruins the whole point of this. And then you click this uh, this what looks like a reload symbol. To, you tap it to spin the wheel. And when you tap it, you can see the wheel is spinning, and it's going to make the decision for you um, what number you should choose. So then you chose a nine. So that is the you know number that you're choosing. So it's pretty straightforward. Uh, it allows you to make a decision based on you know the choices that you uh, decided to type in here, the options that you decided to type in here. Uh, if you look closely here, you can also see that you can add office. Uh, I mean, not add office. Sorry, you can add a color scheme, and the current color scheme actually changes the entire color scheme of the app. So, uh, say if we wanted to do grayscale, you can see that the background over here, uh, the banner started changed color to uh, a grayscale type, and then you can see the wheel changed to grayscale. Now we want to keep it yellow. Then you can see everything turns like a yellow type of uh, yellow type of color theme. But we'll keep it back to office style. You can tell that it's a uh, office. Uh, inspired because the colors of my PowerPoint and, and Excel and everything like that are there. So then if we want to add options we can also do that but we'll do that in just a second. When we go back you can hit this X button to go back or discard changes and then when we go back we're on the main screen here again and now I'll talk about the main screen. On the main screen here you see recent answers here so all the decisions that you click the, um, the wheel to do uh, they'll show up here your most recent ones you can see how long ago you did it you can see it three minutes ago and everything like that and by default this one shows up just for being just to be humorous that you you decided in fact to install the application you can't actually click on them or anything like that it'd be cool if you could click on your decision your answers and go to that wheel that is spun to but uh, maybe they'll put that in the future uh, another thing you can do is you can create your own wheel. So we'll right click or swipe up from the bottom and you can see you have choices down here. You have send feedback and you have add wheel. So we'll click add a wheel and we can change the wheel name. So let's say um, since Windows 8.1 the preview just came out uh, we can choose, we can type in for a title um, download Windows 8.1 and then we can add options here so if we want to add options uh, yes I will download it there you go and then you can add that option or no I don't like Windows 8 and then we can add option and then we can add a third option which is uh, I will wait to till can't type today. I will wait till official release. And then you can add an option. Then you can see them here. Uh, obviously, there are three options, so 33% each uh, option on the wheel here. And you have choices. You can hit this button and it'll spin and make the decision for you. And that's pretty much the uh, whole point of this application is to just make random decisions. You can see the choice that it chose was, no, I don't like Windows 8. So there you go, it made your decision for you. And that's what the whole app is about. Again, you can see the color scheme there and you can see the total amount of options that are uh, on the wheel. And if we want to keep this uh, wheel, we can hit this check button, which says save changes and close, or we can click on this, which says discard changes and close. We'll save this just to show that I added it. You can see it right here. And also another thing you can see in detail is that uh, you can have choices about, you know, you can see the choices that are available. So for instance, 1 to 25 showed, you know, as many choices as, as they could show in the bubble. So far they showed 1 to 15. My recent one here, it couldn't show the whole title. And then also another thing we're going to do is see how it looks when we snap the application on a corner. So we will snap it right here. And you can see 
exactly how it looks like when you snap it. Uh, we can hit yes or no, and you can still spin the wheel. So it looks like a nice clean layout here. Uh, it still has the check and X right here, yes or no. And if we want to spin, again, we can spin. Uh, you can't stop it automatically. You have to wait for it to finish. So yes and no. No got chosen. You can see it there. Uh, you get the uh, feedback option right there and then also you know we're back to full screen you can make it back to full screen change the color as usual so yeah that's pretty much what this application is well last thing we'll take a look at is the settings so we'll go to settings and take a look at what they have there we'll go to about and you can see the information here what version the application is you can see what the title of the app is you have the social media information here and you have the other privacy policy stuff that a lot of people won't care about unless you're the developer uh, you can see you can over here you can set options you can set you can set uh, the sound that it makes the application makes as you heard like there was a sound you can set the wheel spin time so if you want the wheel to spin for five seconds you can uh... set it to that if you want it to spin for seven seconds you can set it to that if you want to spin it for three seconds we can do that we'll just uh... set it to three just for funny stuff uh... last thing is permissions it doesn't really require anything because it's all in the application so we'll go back to my wheel that i created notice how i changed it to three seconds for the wheel spinning so we'll see how fast it spins so you can see it spun for three seconds and it did everything another thing you can do is you can share your decisions so if you want to hit share now you get your options here of sharing not sure why Bing translator showed up maybe if it was like in a different language it could translate it for us you can share it to various different things that you have installed for instance I have these installed so these are the options I get uh, you also have this arrow right here that allows you to take a screenshot of the decision and other stuff like that so yeah, that's pretty much it. This was basically a pretty straightforward application. It's called the Decision Making Wheel by MaxTor Apps. You can check it out now on the Windows Store. It's available on Windows RT and Windows 8. Uh, free right now, so go check it out. This has been Quaku from NextGen Windows, and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.